Hi everyone. I'm posting a video again because this time I made some mistakes and now I'm trying to save my aquadrones. As you can see in my other videos, uh, when I came back uh, from leaving them 25 days on their own, uh, there was way less algae, actually, because I was chopping it off uh, because I was living for 25 days and I didn't want uh, the, the, the water to evaporate. All the algae grew until the top of it. So before all of this uh, could get light, but now all of this was in shade. In January 8, uh, I came and I cleaned two sites uh, to uh, be able to see them, but I still allow the all the algae go to the top. So if I put it like this, that is the position I normally have, there is a big area in shade now, and same here. I mentioned that because I made the assumption, I, I tried to treat them uh, uh, the same. So uh, I had a few adults here, the Simonkis Aqua uh, Ocean. Uh, uh, so similar situation, as you can see, the algae did not grow on the same level. But uh, I decided to feed them more or less uh, the same rate. Well, as you can see here, was extremely successful. And I sat here because he had so much algae, it was not going to be issue to overfeed them. Why? Because if you overfeed them, bacteria will grow and if there is nothing providing extra oxygen, the bacteria will consume all the oxygen and you uh, salt water pits with that. Okay, so anyhow, that's what January 8. Uh, for a while was fine, but there were a lot of little babies on uh, Aqua Dragon and the there were three females and three males left uh, from January 8th. So I continued and I was a little disappointed because it was happening something that happened in the other aquariums that was that the babies will uh, be born will last a little while, but you will not see them growing. Actually, they will get like more transparent, more transparent, and then disappear altogether. So I found out two things that could be causing that. One, babies can only eat suspended food particles. So if there, are, if there is no enough food in the water, means a particle, means a little cloudy, not much. Uh, they will not grow and essentially they will starve to death. The other reason is that if there is no enough oxygen, they will not grow and they will die. So I say oh, lots of algae should be food. Okay, as you can see, I started doing it and the water got uh, quite uh, cloudy and uh, one male died and two females died. So, oops. Up to Aqua Dragon's Haven they went and they say, well, if I have ever fed them and why the oxygen is being consumed with so many algae? And so then I presume from before and after I left, it was that too much shade was here because there were not much bubbles around. So I clean it up, but still I'm afraid that uh, it might not be, uh, too, it might be too little, too, too late at this point. 
So some time ago, I saw videos from a brain shrimp uh, breeders. As you know, a quadragon and sea monkeys are brain shrimps or Artemia salina with some other thing. And they would recommend when start breeding babies uh, of brain shrimps to let it uh, uh, bubble up and the water movement and extra bubbles will help. Uh, normally uh, the, the bubbles, if it's that much, it's only to break the surface and the, uh, it, because sometimes the, the food creates a film with the bacteria and the interchange of from uh, the atmosphere, high density of oxygen do not go down. So you break it, that is another thing. But now that I mentioned that, remember, recall that I mentioned I was topping it off. If I top it off, there is less area to interchange with the atmosphere of oxygen down to the water. So that is one factor, that's why you have this Quickly here, I recommend to top it up to here with water, no more, because then you have more area of the atmosphere in contact with the water. And I saw that, okay, I had so many, uh, much algae that it will not be an issue. Then is when I arrived to the conclusion, those uh, adult uh, sea monk, uh, aqua dragons died so they are not getting enough oxygen the bacteria uh, is growing too much and so the only reason i could think that the algae was not providing enough oxygen is because all of this up to here wasn't shade and back here wasn't shade so uh, not enough light was getting to the algae so that is when I did the scrape off and, uh, but still, uh, as I was saying, the brain shrimp uh, breeders recommend uh, a, on the first weeks uh, for uh, uh, air bubbles uh, to uh, improve the chances of the baby brain shrimp to to survive. I never did it just leave the, the pump because I didn't have the mechanism. I had to do it by hand. So I was doing only one minute at a time. Uh, there are videos where I commented that. Uh, but anyhow, uh, just to recap, this is the smallest pump I got through uh, Amazon. And it came with an airstone as you can see here and a valve so the water would not go back to the pump and uh, so what i do i'm doing every day i live in some uh, minutes hopefully that it will increase the movement the interchange and because of the volume of bubbles i hope that some oxygen from the bubbles itself uh, will also dilute into the water, so increasing the chances. There are still some babies, and looks like what I have been doing in the last couple of days has helped. I think they are growing, but anyhow, uh, something different that if I would have had is this guy, this strip that I use. You can see in the video before I left uh, on their own for 25 days. Uh, is an Eve, E V E, uh, intelligent strip, and uh, I could uh, program it or turn it on through my cell phone, but I tried that and it killed this video. So uh, we need to do it by hand. And press that button, and there we go. So I will let it uh, bubble up for a while and I would do that every day 
actually uh, I should do it uh, either early in the morning or late at night before the lights go out uh, because the algae uh, need to be still uh, and besides the bubble that is producing blocks the light so the algae produce less less oxygen uh, anyhow so at this point the only thing i can do is do the bubbling thing uh, 10 minutes 15 minutes uh, not feed them uh, following the advice of the Aqua Dragons uh, website that say if the water is cloudy, don't feed them until it gets a little clearer and then feed a little more until it gets to the normal levels. And also, uh, as you can see, uh, it's sprays the water so it it evaporates so actually i noticed that this way i can lower the level of the water faster so we lower it until this level and leave it there until it seems to have stabilized uh, so hopefully i will be able to go to the schedule of feeding uh, this uh, three times a week not two days in a row or if i want to do the sea monkeys food there is a smaller one uh two two of this one again three times a week but not two days in a row because that was working like a charm actually have worked well with the other aquariums as you can see here they are doing fine uh, here is the gunk aquarium uh, where I have taken all the junk from the other aquariums I drop it here and as you can see eggs come here and they burn so I move them here and then I have left this traditional this was the original gunk aquarium but I found that they started growing like crazy and the water got quite clear so I decided to use this as an example of a traditional sea monkeys aquarium. As you can see, it's doing quite fine. And I doing the uh, the feeding that I mentioned of three times a week, not two days in a row. Uh, right now there is a lot of babies, so I'm using the Aqua Dragon's food that is, is more finer, more particles in the water so the babies can uh, being fed better and when they are more adults and less baby then I will continue with some monkeys although actually I think I will plan to alternate between sea monkeys and uh, aqua dragon food so one week will be uh, sea monkey aqua dragon sea monkey food and then another week will be aqua dragon sea monkey aqua dragon food I don't know, I haven't decided, but still, this is the immediate uh, uh, thing that I'm doing, trying to save what is left of the aquadragons. Ah, yes, I, I forgot. Since I have this timer, uh, when I did not have algae, you can see in my other videos, most likely I would have put a splitter they sell splitters two splitters uh, three splitters and then i could have left the uh, the four stones uh, there and actually will be less uh, uh, weaker flow of air and i could have prog program because you can put a timer and uh, control the on and off of the air pump Anyhow, so let's see if these guys can survive. I have done all that I think I can do, and we'll be informing later how it went. See you later, everyone.